Como Sava YouTube, Danny here with Cajun Hydroponics. Bo! <laughs> um, quick tip. The last few days, or the last week or so, I've been noticing the number one greenhouse isn't keeping up pace with the other two greenhouses and it was planted first. There's not much difference, but when you, you know, when you're looking at it on picture especially, there's not a whole bunch of difference. Um, I was in here this morning pruning. You can see I did a little video on that also, but that'll probably come out later. But the uh, the difference between these this greenhouses and the other greenhouses, it's really easy to see with the peppers, the size of the peppers. Peppers wasn't growing. I actually lost a couple. So started looking around while I was pruning, trying to figure it out. And I heard the other two greenhouses, the pumps kick on. They're usually set. This one should be first. Then about 20 minutes later, the other one kicks on. Then 20 minutes later, the third one kicks on. Well, this morning, I was actually working in here when the middle one, greenhouse number two, kicked on. Waited. It turned off. Went check. Greenhouse number three kicked on. So it was like, maybe my pump's burnt. I didn't hear it. I went and looked at the timer. Duh. It was coming on at night. Not, uh, I'm pretty sure it's been doing that since the beginning. Need a watch today to make sure it's turning. I'll probably change the timer just to verify. Um, we do have extras for this reason, but I'll probably change the timer just to verify that it is turning like it's supposed to. Put a new one in there to make sure that it's getting watered like it's supposed to. That way I don't forget or it starts messing up while I'm on rotation and I don't get to mess with it for a couple weeks. Don't want to lose this greenhouse. So some of the simplest things, you know, pay attention to what you have going on in your greenhouse. Pay attention, you know, to what you have going on in your gardens. Something as simple as a timer that you take for granted. It's going to kick on every time it's supposed to. It's going to stay on for as long as it's supposed to can make a big difference. This greenhouse, number one, has a few tomatoes that set and a couple tomatoes plants that have flowers. The other greenhouses have tomatoes that are set. They're on their second, third trust of flowers. And like I said at the beginning, this greenhouse has was planted first, you know, just a couple days in between the middle greenhouse, greenhouse number two. But it's been as much as two weeks, three weeks for greenhouse number three. These are all peppers that I started myself. Um, these are all from Jeff at Grow Something with Jeff. Except for, those are some seeds I bought. New Max Big Jim. Supposed to be some big long peppers. As long as 14 inches. So, but these are all stuff I got from Jeff. Now to show you the difference in the other ones. Granted, the plants were a little bit bigger, but not much. These are what they're supposed to be looking like. Probably something like this at this point. Really happy with it. <laughs> really happy with the growth on them. These are all plants I bought. The wind did do a little bit of damage to them. But for the most part, look. The leaves are as big as my hand. So they're eating well. They're enjoying it. Let's see how the peppers set. This is on an eight to nine hundred ppm scale. So, just wanted to give that to you know, give everybody a little shout out to you know, keep an eye on what you have going on, your growth. If you have something growing, if you're growing the same plants in two different areas and you're not getting the same amount of growth or same amount of production, something's probably wrong. So just as simple as keeping an eye out on what you have in one place and another could really, really benefit you in the long run. So we got to drop some strings in here too. Oh, look. The queen's going to come in here and stand at as close as she can to the camera. The work's done and she shows up. Anyway, happy Easter from Cajun Hydroponics, y'all. Uh, we're going to be balling some crawfish this afternoon, later. We might end up 
doing a live stream with it. I don't know. But South Louisiana ball, you got to love it. Y'all grow that. Later. Bye.